Hi everyone. Welcome to Thera Pilates virtual mat class program. We have an array of props here. I look like I'm sitting in front of a little store and I want to help you gather all the props that you'll need to participate in our classes. So first prop you need is a broomstick. So you'll just grab a broom or a mop and remove the broom or mop from the handle. You can also use a four foot dowel that you can purchase at Home Depot, but it'd be better if you stayed home and did not go out to Home Depot to purchase that. It needs to be about four feet long so you're not bending over to try to use it. You'll be using it for balance. You'll be using it for spine alignment and also for some arm exercises that we'll be uh, creatively working on with you. So there's that. The next prop is going to be a dog leash. So simple dog leash, they're usually about four to six feet long. You'll need the six foot long version. This will be used underneath your back when you're doing abdominal exercises to be sure you're that you're in the right alignment and you're actually using your abdominals and you're not letting your back arch. It'll also be used to do some support for your leg if you're doing leg circles or a type of hamstring stretching to give support to the body, kind of like feet in the straps. We'll do that as much as we can. We know that's one of your favorites. And then um, TheraBands, um, we would prefer that you have a medium to heavy TheraBand and maybe a medium to light. The very light ones like the yellow or the red might be a little bit too light for what we'll be doing. And um, one of these loops to go around your feet is always really useful, but you can just tie a TheraBand in a knot and put it around your, your feet or your ankles if you're providing resistance to the hips. Um, we actually have been mailing these to people. We just stick it in an, an envelope. It costs us like a dollar to mail them and we have a ton of it and we can't reuse it between clients anymore. It's not able to be cleaned and it's not sanitary. Um, the other really simple props are uh, towels to use as either cushions for your ribs or we're going to be using them for thoracic mobility work and what you'll do with your towels is open them up fold them in half and then fold them in half again do the same with the second towel folding it in half and then in half again, and it's really good if they're the same size generally, and they don't have to match, of course, but then you take the towel and roll it as tightly as you can. And roll it all the way up. And a good thing to do is to use a TheraBand to wrap around it. If you have a towel that you don't care that much about, um, you can wrap it with duct tape. But when you tear the duct tape off, it will ruin the towel because it will pull those loops out. So don't duct tape a towel that you care about. <laughs> if you find an old towel, you can use a good towel in between and then wrap it with an older towel and then wrap the tape around the towel and that keeps it really firm. And we'll be using this for thoracic mobility exercises. So you'll take your hands behind your head and this is going to be a replacement for the spine corrector or the foam roller that some people use. So if you don't have a foam roller or a spine corrector, then you can use this as a replacement for that. Now here is the ball that we like using. We use these from Power Systems and they're out of them right now. I checked on Amazon and they're out of them. Um, so we're, we've been using these and I think we've distributed all of these already. So um, we either use it squishy without as much air in it, or we use it firm. So depending on your comfort level with your thoracic mobility, you'll use the squishy ball to start with, re reaching over and back and wrapping around it, and then progressing up to a more firm ball. And all you really have to do is use a pump to pump these up if you have a pump. And hopefully you have one, in, but, but if you don't, they, they can be obtained on Amazon as well or through some other distributors. Um, the firmer the ball, the more thoracic mobility that you get. Um, so you decide what you want. 
You can use, I saw these soccer balls at Academy Sports that were great and that were kind of soft. And um, one of my clients uses that. You can also get those balls that are called Gertie balls and they're blown up with a straw, but they don't uh, provide as much of um, an intense mobilization as a firmer surface would. But you can use those in a pinch. I really like the rolled up towels if you don't have a ball. Then um, if you have a foam roller, we're, we are going to be using the foam roller with some of our classes. And if you don't have one, here's how you make it. You take towels now long ways like this. And then a beach towel is really good because it's a little bit wider and longer, but you roll it up and then that makes sort of a, an elevated surface for you to lie on. So you might have to use three towels for that, but you can do that and you might need to use the duct tape to make it pretty tight. So that's another way to do it. You can also roll up a yoga mat or a Pilates mat and uh, lay on that as well. Pool noodles work great. You can stick a pool noodle on the ground and then wrap it with a towel or with a yoga mat and make it a little bit thicker. So that, that could also work for one of your props. Now in my classes, I'll be doing some weight training with people for helping to build bone density. So I suggest that you grab a, a um, milk crate, a file box. This is just a plastic file box and or a wine box. <laughs> Somebody used a wine box once. Uh, just don't drink all the wine because it gets lighter as you go instead of heavier. Um, but anyway, so a laundry basket that you can put some weight in. We use water bottles for weight. We've used soup cans for weights. A bag of rice. Just be really careful that you put it in an extra bag because you don't want to break this. And you can put that in there, adding up your weight over time. Um, I've got some sugar bags. And you definitely don't want to spill that on the ground. Beans, rice, beans, sugar, flour. Make sure you wrap it in some plastic to make sure it doesn't fall out on your carpet. And uh, what a mess to clean up right? But we have time to clean if we need to. Um, so we'll be using the soup cans as um, upper body work and then targeting thoracic work with either soup cans or water bottles. But you'll use those to fill up your box to do squats and maybe lunges. Here's dumbbells, grab those. So what I suggest is that you just gather up all those things that you need and place them in your box. So one other item I want to share with you is the Fletcher towel. I'm a big fan of the Fletcher towel work. I love to do Fletcher towel work for the shoulders and upper body, connecting the back to open the front. And um, if you don't have a Fletcher towel, you can take a sweater scarf and maybe twist it a little bit. It needs to have a little bit of stretch to it. You don't want to use a scarf that doesn't stretch because the towel beauty is that it's a little bit dynamic. And you see how that towel stretches a little bit so you could braid a towel and make one yourself, or you can use a sweater scarf that, that stretches a little bit. So I hope you'll join us for some of the virtual classes. 